Hello YouTubers, my name is Nixvi and as you can see from my position today we will be talking about skating on one foot. Skating on one foot is a very important move. First of all because this is the base of the proper stride. One foot, one foot, one foot, one foot. Second because this is a part of a lot of other elements. For example like a T-stop. And also, of course, if you don't know how to skate on one foot, you can't maneuver properly. And also, and I think that's the main point, only on one foot you can become a real superhero on inline skates. As I've already said, one foot is the base of proper striding. So if you watched my previous tutorials, the one on the basic stance and the one on the proper stride, you probably already know how to start skating on one foot. I will just remind you a few points. First of all, we have to have a proper basic stride with the foot on which we are going to skate. So the knee is bent. The shin presses the tongue of the skate and we start from bending the knee and here we are already on one foot. The main and the most crucial point here is the edge of your skate. You should be on the center edge or a little bit on the outside edge. When you are skating on one foot all your body weight should be on that one foot and hence when you will be skating on the inside edge like this you will have to move your body to the side that doesn't look pretty well and that's pretty difficult to make for a long distance so you should always use the center edge or the outside edge and in order to make this you have to move your knee properly just a little bit to the side, like this. So now when you already know the proper stance for one foot inline skating, it's time to understand how to make that skating long, how not to fall from that stance, how to balance. And there are three ways to balance on one foot. The first way is pretty natural and I think you understood it from the beginning. You have to use your hands like walking on the rope. I'm correcting my balance with my hands and my torso also. The second way is to use the second feet the one that is not occupied by skating, you can use it as a counterweight. Imagine, for example, that you are the one-footed pirate, Captain Silver, and you are skating through the asphalt waves of the city. You can use your back foot as a driving wheel to correct your maneuvers. Ay, caramba! These two ways of one-foot skating is pretty good. But most of the good skaters are using another way. And this is the way of micro moves. Let me show it to you. In order to perform that, you have to move your weight a little bit to the heel of your skate. Your toes will be lightweight, so you can make some small moves like that to one side and to another. And with that moves, you will be correcting your skating. Let's take a look. So I'm not moving with my hands and I'm not moving with my front foot also. All that I do is a small micro moves with my foot like this and that's enough to keep me in balance.
of course on the high speed and if you are afraid of falling you can use all the three ways of keeping the balance together and that will be the most efficient way. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Also, you can share that video in your social media and leave me a comment. I love comments. See you next time.